Rejection sure does sting. Whether you saw your crush with someone else or built up the courage to ask them out and they said no, you're probably in a lot of pain. You probably don't know what to do with yourself and all you can think about is your crush. Luckily, there's a surprising amount of research on unrequited love. That should tell you that you are not alone. Most people feel like this at some point in their life. Let's see what the experts in heartbreak have to say about what you can do if your crush doesn't like you back. Number one, try not to persist. The last thing you want to do is make them hate you. As much as you may feel you belong together, becoming obsessive and overly persistent is not going to help your chances. It will actually do the opposite. You could ruin your reputation and go from a friend who had a crush to an annoying persistent jerk who can't take no for an answer. Even though you might feel angry or desperate, you don't want to upset other people or make a fool of yourself. You have to respect other people's feelings because at this point, they are extremely unlikely to change. The best thing you can do for them, and more importantly, for yourself and your own mental well-being, is to leave them alone or give them space. Number two, try to let go. Moving on and leaving them alone is easier said than done. The worst thing about not letting go is that you're allowing yourself to undergo slow, painful torture. Set yourself free by focusing on other friends and family. Do the things that you like to do and try to engage with your crush as little as possible. The biggest hurdle is if you share a friend group. This is the main reason that people with unrequited love try to stay friends with their crush even after being rejected. I'm sure you can imagine how awkward this can be. So while you're spending time with your closest friends, remember to also... Number three, work on yourself. One of the most common reasons for rejection is an imbalance in attraction. There might be something about you that just didn't click for them. You may feel like there are things about you that can be improved, but you haven't taken the time to face them yet. All of those emotions, the heartbreak, the sadness, maybe even anger, can go into motivation to better yourself. Whether it's the way you dress, the way you look, or something in your personality. Maybe that person found something they weren't attracted to. That doesn't mean it's the end of the world. What you should be worried about isn't what you should change to make your crush like you, but rather what you can do to make you like yourself more. Rather than hanging on to those emotions, you can work towards overcoming them. Number four, stay single. The absolute best thing you can do if your crush doesn't like you back is not to rush into another relationship. Your first instinct might be that you are sick of being alone, so you will just be with anyone. But it's important to take a step back and think about whether being with just anyone is really what you want. If you're letting go of those painful emotions, spending time with friends and working on yourself, you should see that you don't need to be in a relationship with anybody. Look after yourself and acknowledge your feelings. Getting into a relationship now as a rebound or out of desperation is almost like self-destructive behavior, like drinking or smoking as a coping mechanism. When you jump into a new relationship right after one ends, you're not just hurting yourself, you're also hurting the person you're rebounding with because you're not really in love with them and you're not in a good state of mind. You can be your greatest ally or your greatest enemy at this volatile time of your life. We hope we've helped you steer in the right direction. If you found this video useful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos like this. Remember, you will be okay. You've got this.